So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. This is your very own mask for this side. And today we will be solving our next POTD. So today's POTD is recursive sequence. Let us see what does the problem say. So the problem says that you have been given an input n. Uh, before and I will like to tell you that today's problem is fairly easy, right? No need to stress about it. So you have been given an input n, and the output is uh, something of this kind, like n. So it is, it is your first term second term, third term, up till nth term and sum. What is the terms? For 1, it is 1, then 2 into 3, then 4 into 5 into 6, then 7 into 8 into 9. So you are multiplying only one number here, two numbers here, three numbers here, four numbers here, five numbers here, six numbers and so on and so forth. Right? And you have to represent it sum as your output. For example, if you have been given n as 4, so your answer would be 1, then 2 into 3, then 3 into 4 into 5, sorry, 4 into 5 into 6, sorry, yeah, and 7 into 8 into 9 into 10, right? So this is your, this is your term number 1, 2, 3, 4. Add them up and get your answer. So it will be returning 1 only, then 6, then 4 into 5 gives me 20, 20 into 6 gives me 120. Now, 7 into 8 gives me 56, 56 multiplied by 9 will give me 9 is 54. Carry it. 9 into 5 gives me uh, 45 plus 5 gives me 50 and then into 10 that is 5040. Add them up 5040 with 127. Yeah, 7, 6, 1, 5. So your answer for n equals to 4 will be 5, 1, 6, 7. Okay, so I hope you are understanding what is the question asking you. The question's name is recursive sequence, right? So you might have got the hint that you have to use the recursion, right? Uh, a question cannot be more direct than that. You have to use the recursion. How will you use the recursion? Actually, very simple. Let me define a function f here, right? It will give me the number, the term number I am currently at. Like here, this was my term number one, this was my term number two, my term number three, my term number four, right? So I am asking the term number. I, either it is one, two, three, four, etc., etc. Right? Now, you see the term number one, the multiplication, multiplication is starting from one. For two, it is starting from two. For three, it is starting from four. From four, it is starting from seven. So I want the start. I want to start with me. Right. And my n. To mention the stop. Uh, so if my term number becomes greater than n, that is, I have completed n terms. Now I am at n, n plus one at term. But I don't need the n, n, n plus 1 term, right? So I will what I will do is I will just return 0 here. Okay. That is I will end the recursion. Else, in the else part, what I will do is I will make an answer. Suppose int answer equals to 1. Why 1? Because 1 is a multiplicative identity. Now, the term 1 contain only one number in the multiplication, right? The term 2 contain two numbers, right? The term 3 contains 3 numbers, the term 4 contains 4 numbers. So you have to multiply number of times term is here. So for int i equals to 0 going up till term minus 1. What I am doing is answer equals to answer multiplied by start. Right? So initially your start contains 1. In the next call, the start will contain 2. Right? Now 2 into 3. So for 3, I will have to increment my start. So start plus plus, right? This will happen term, term number of times, correct? Then what you have to do is your answer will be equals to answer plus the call for the next term. That is the term plus one at term. So call the recursion. So our function's name was f. So it will be f here. Term plus one, right? Now my start is actually what I have desired. When I am at 4, 5, 6, I have to do this in the term number 3, right? I started off with 4, uh, going term number of times, that is 3 number of times. My start will go, uh, it was initially here, then it will go here, then it will go here, then it will go 7, and the loop will break, right? In the third time, the loop will break 7. And for the next term, that is the fourth term, my start should be 7, right? So I'm in, uh, standing at the position which I should be at. So it will be the start only, right? And n is constant, you know, right? This is your answer return this answer this is your whole code see i have not written the pseudo code here this is the whole code 
and nothing is to be changed. I cannot stress enough on how simple this question is. Please try to solve such questions on your own. Right now, we will just discuss the codes. You can come here to check whether there is an optimal approach. Yeah, to mention this question can also be done through dynamic programming. This question can be optimized through dynamic programming. But I want it. Uh, I want to keep it clear. If any of you want the dynamic programming solution, comment down. I will uh, share the solution in the uh, one of the comments. Right. But I'm not discussing the dynamic programming in this video. Why? Because I don't think that it is necessary. I just tested it. It is running fine for without dynamic programming also. I don't want to complicate things up for you. Right. So let's move to the code. And as a usual practice, I would like you to tell that please subscribe to my channel because it gives me a lot of motivation. Okay. It has been a long journey. We have developed a bond over the time. So I would like you to subscribe to my channel. I'm saying this again and again because I'm able to observe that most of the watch time is from the known subscribers and it hurts, right? You also feel that like what I'm going through right now. Okay. So that was enough of the promotion. Let's start with the code. What I will do is I will make a long, long, because I have to return a long, long, my answer. I will make a function F. I will send my term number one. That is, I will start from the first term. I will start from the one value for term one. It was starting from one. Correct. And I will send N it. Then return answer right this is my only what do we say only main driver function right now my f function will be taking my term number uh, my what do we say that yeah my start value and my n our base case was that if term is greater than n in that case return zero right Otherwise, what was our condition that in answer equals to one, the loop will uh, run term number of times. So I less than term I plus plus answer equals to answer multiplied by start, right? And then start plus plus. Now the recursion call will be uh, answer equals to answer plus F of the next term will be time term plus one. Right, my start will remain same and my end will remain same. My start has actually changed, but the changes have been uh, accommodated in the above code only. And at last, return your answer. Right, but if we focus here, it says that the answer can be very large, so they return the answer in module random power, uh, power 9 plus 7. So I will keep a mod here in mod equals to 1 e 9 plus 7. And after each multiplication and addition, I will update my more update my answer sorry right here, here also it is adding something so answer equals to answer percentile more and it on your answer let's try to compound on it hope, hope it works running fine for uh, the sample test case let's straight for submit also in the meantime give us a, give my channel a subscription because it gives me a lot of motivation because there has been a mistake somewhere yeah it should be long long Otherwise, it will take garbage values. Let's try to submit it now. Hope it works. Working fine. So this was all for today's video. And I think you all have solved it on your own and just came here to check because that means you are really practicing. And that's all from my side, guys. Uh, keep watching my content and keep subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get more updates, right? Or something big is coming in on your way. So get ready for it, right? So I will meet you tomorrow. Till then, keep coding and stay safe. Have a nice day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jo jaane the nahi unko bhi lagun familiar. Banana shakshani be shak karunga clear. Main maal fukena likhun ye bud.